Welcome to Thermoforming 101. Thermoforming, what is it? Thermoforming is a process where a plastic sheet is heated to a pliable forming temperature, typically between 280 and 480 degrees Fahrenheit. This heated plastic sheet is then formed to a specific shape in a mold and later trimmed to create a usable product. Thermoforming step by step. Step 1. The plastic sheet is heated to the appropriate temperature in an oven. Step 2. The heated sheet is placed into the molding area. Step 3. The heated sheet is lowered onto the mold. Step 4. The heated sheet takes the shape of the mold. Step 5. The heated sheet cools and is removed from the mold. Step 6. The cooled sheet is brought to a finishing station and trimmed. Thermal forming step by step. The initial print, vacuum formed, finished product. Thermoforming process. During the heating cycle, both the inks and the plastics become malleable, also known as thermosag, glass transition phase, or bubble. The pigments or dispersions are not thermochromatic, meaning they do not shift color or hue during the heating or forming process. Unlimited elongation. These systems have the ability to meet or exceed the elongation characteristics of the plastics it's printed on. Extremely broad adhesion ranges with a vast application range that goes beyond vacuum forming. Different types of thermal forming. Vacuum forming. A plastic sheet is heated to pliability and then stretched onto a single surface mold. The heated plastic is then forced against a mold by a vacuum. Pressure forming. A plastic sheet is heated to pliability and then pressed against the 3D mold by vacuuming out the air between the sheet and the mold and applying air pressure above the plastic sheet. Mechanical forming. A plastic sheet is heated to pliability, then it enters the press where it is clamped down and formed between the plates that fit together to make the mold. Materials. Thermoplastic and thermal set. Thermoplastic plastics are a polymer material that becomes liquid or malleable at high temperatures, but which solidify upon cooling. Thermoplastics may be reshaped by heating as no chemical bonding takes place. This characteristic allows thermoplastics to be remolded and recycled without negatively affecting the material properties. Finished thermoplastics may melt if they're exposed to high enough temperatures. Thermal setting plastics contain polymers that cross-link together when exposed to high temperatures to form an irreversible chemical bond. This process eliminates the risk of the finished product melting when heat is applied, making thermal set plastics ideal for high heat applications such as appliances or electronics. Thermal forming and printing, screen versus digital printing. Thermal forming has benefited from the application of engineering technology, although the basic forming process is very similar to how it was invented many years ago. Microprocessor and computer controls on more modern machinery allow for greater increased process control and repeatability of same job setups from one production run with the ability to save oven heater and process timing settings between jobs. Screen printing realities. One of the oldest, most common methods for processing plastic materials. Since the late 1940s, screen printing has been a dominant force. Very versatile process and a vast range of applications. Vivid color reproduction, opacity, consistent repeatability. Efficiency behind setup times, prototyping, customer proofing and sign-offs. One-offs become impractical. Digital screen printing realities. Viability for thermal forming and vacuum forming came about in 2003. Inks have a much broader application, bridging the gap into other applications and marketplaces. Strong color reproduction that is repeatable and that can be instantly color managed. Because of fast setup times, prototyping, short runs, customer proofing, and sign offs and one offs become easier to produce and more affordable. Unlimited design capabilities for commercial industrial application within reach. Special effects such as variable content can now be obtained that previously screen printing could not achieve. Digital has no boundaries. Thermal forming applications. 
applications, and samples. Thermoforming can be used in a wide variety of industries. Thermal forming. Know your plastics. Select the appropriate plastic for its intended use. Some plastics have hydroscopic tendencies causing pinholes or star lighting. Forming temperatures vary from plastic to plastic. The right plastic for the right job. Impact resistance, weathering, dimensional stability after forming, resistance to solvents, chemicals, or abrasion. Be aware supersized media used in the signage market can vary in caliper as much as 40 to 60 thousandths of an inch. It's recommended head height be set twice the normal setting. This will not have any impact on color or quality. Thermal forming inks and coatings. Monofunctional acrylates enables the deep draw thermal forming without cracking or mosaic fractures. Original formulations worked in lab tests but required years of refinement before working in real-world production environments. Most of all development of UV inkjet formulations is centered around difunctional high cross-linking acrylates. The pros are its fast cure speeds and excellent chemical resistance, but its cons are limited adhesion, brittleness, prone to shrinkage, and edge curl. UV light penetration as it relates to heavy ink film thickness the use of mercury arc lamps provides the best penetration. Finishing, common methods and definitions. Once thermal forming is complete, an additional step called finishing will be required in most cases to turn the thermal form plastic into a usable product. Some common finishing methods are guillotine cutting, roller cutting, press cutting, and CNC cutting. Advantages of digitally printed thermal forming. Digital thermoforming has many advantages, including the reduction of labor cost, increased production, little or no setup time, low waste, consistent repeatability, unlimited production flexibility. Digitally printing thermoforming in comparison to screen printing has many advantages due to the intensive setup of the screen printing, hours of time reworking the original art for separations, time it takes to dial in registration on the press, the wasted material of this registration, the struggle to achieve the correct color. Here is an example of the time reduction over traditional methods. It took company X seven and a half hours of labor to produce two four foot by 16 foot vacuum form sign faces using their current spray mask and cut painting methods. Using digitally printed thermal forming, they can now produce 34 plus of the same signs in the same amount of time. Thank you for watching Thermal Forming 101.